Hi, this is Celeste from Creatrix Realm, and today I'm going to show you how to use the blog feature in Adobe Business Catalyst. Um, so I'm going to show you the site. It's the site I've created for my client. Um, go ahead and click on here. You can see that a blog is set up. And I'm going to show you how to get to that blog. So this is um, the main page after you log in. And if you click under Modules, you'll see the blogs right here. So click on that and as you can see we have the two categories here which match what we're seeing here. You can always create a new one. Let's just do a, a test. Let's put new products. Um, I always put a, a generic blog template for my clients um, but if you have a different template just make sure you specify here. You can preview here um, and edit you could put more information, a blog title, a blog description, so that's if you want to put more information about it. I'm just going to do something simple, so I'm going to do save on that. And let's go back and make sure we got it in there. Yep, we got new products. And if I refresh this page, you'll see that new products is posted there. So I'm just going to put a, a new post, because right now you can see there's nothing in there. So if we click on it, obviously there's nothing, we just have the, the name of the category. It wouldn't be like this where we have two postings. You can see information here. So let's go back to blog and I'm going to put a new post. I'm going to do something quick. Put our summer colors. And I'm just going to use some lorem ipsum. Now there's a few ways you can do blog posting. You can either do straight images and text. If you're more familiar with uh, HTML, you can create uh, different categories or different file formats. Um, so you can click HTML here and do the coding. But I want to keep it simple for my clients. So I have some lorem ipsum I'm just going to cut and paste. So it's just Latin. And I want to put a picture in here. So here's your picture icon. And I do have the picture on my desktop. So let's do an upload file. And I usually like to keep these um, pretty much uh, cleaned up. So I'm going to stick it into asset images and the blogs. And since I put a new category, let's see. I'll just put the blog test since this is just a test. Um, if I put a new category, I'd probably create a new folder saying new products in there under blogs and images um, just to keep everything really clean. So at this moment, this is a test. I'll just keep it in there. So I'm going to select. I'm going to go to my desktop, there's the image, and choose. And you can always add some more images if you need to. Uh, it's like a 100 megabyte limit. So we'll upload. Actually, I could do a new folder, so I just keep it clean. So assets, images, blog. We'll call this new product. And then every post I do with images, I'll probably keep it in here so I know where everything's at. And Business Catalyst is creating the, uh, the folder right now. I'm going to quit out of CyberDuck. I might ease up some memory. This might take a little time, but um, let me just cancel it. So that's a way you can put a new folder um, in there, or you can always go to your file manager and stick it in there. So um, we've uploaded the photo, so I'm going to go find it in test. There it is. I'm going to insert. And this is larger than I was hoping, um, so what you can do is click on it. 
And let's take it to 100, and it reduces it there. Let's do alignment to the left. You can play around these features here. Let's scoot this over a little bit. And make this a little bit bigger. Change the pixel size here. And then I'll scoot this over some more to the right on these indents. And I'm just going to put um, featured product. I kind of keeping this pretty generic. Save time. So I'm going to highlight this and then I think I'll make it 12 points. I'm going to use a different font. So you can choose your fonts here. Let's do Arial. Make this a little bit bigger. And then I'll probably just bold it. So there's one of our postings. And let's do another one here. So let me just save and publish. Then refresh. You can see that a new post has come up. That's one we just put in there. So if people click on new products, oh, you know, I think I forgot to activate this. So save and publish. Go back to blogs. Okay, it's enabled. I'll double check that. There we go. Sorry, it just took a little while to get that going. And you can see here that the feature product is here. So once again, if people click on new products, they'll see the post that we have here. And you can do any other changes in there that you want to. Let's see if we can edit a little bit. Go ahead and take it down to where you can stop this overlapping a little bit. Make sure you hit save and publish. Or unless you're working on something you don't want to publish, you can always hit save and draft. But when you're ready, just uh, go ahead and do the save and publish. Okay, there we go. We got some space, so that's nice. We can put some space down there. So you can keep go ahead and uh, you know testing it, see how it looks, and then make the modifications you want to improve. Um, and it looks like your post is there too. So the more posts you put in there, they'll have a whole list here um, that people can go to. So that's how you go ahead and create a new category and start putting posts and posts in there. And as you see here, when I click on bridal tips floral designs. I got two posts and you can see the posts here and you just hit a new post again. So that's how you go ahead and put postings. Um, I usually type out my postings first in Word um, and I save them also on the site just in case so you have a, a copy if you need it. Um, if you want to post on other sites all you do is just copy and paste. Um, that's kind of helpful too. So that's how you use your blog and hopefully this information has helped and um, Take care.